Friends, welcome to another in our ongoing series of prayer videos. As together we consider prayer, raise up to God our concerns and celebrations, and hold our parish prayer list and others in prayer. As always, if you have specific prayer concerns or celebrations that you'd like raised up, just email me, call the church office. We'll be glad to add them in. Let's start off with celebrations today. Well, we've come birthdays to celebrate coming up. Jane Smith has a birthday today. Susan Whiten, Barbara Cameron on the 3rd. Emily Abraham on the 5th, and of course, Ted Gould is now the proud parent of a granddaughter. By way of concerns, Corinne Lilly is having three operations on her eyes this month. So let's keep Corinne in our prayers. Well, today I have a confession to make. I am seething with frustration and anger at Comcast and Apple, as they seem to have conspired through technical incompetence to completely foul up my access to email, first on my iPhone and then on my laptop. So far, I've spent close to four hours on this issue with Comcast, with Apple, with my tech-savvy daughter, Julia, and her loving husband, Tyler, and with our amazing church administrator, Sue McEwen. It still is unresolved. I wonder if I can take a lesson from the parable of the importunate widow. It's found in Luke's Gospel. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them they should always pray and not give up. He said, In a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God or care what people think, Yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come around and attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the son of man comes, Will he find faith on the earth? Well, of course, my frustration with email issues is really inconsequential in the big scheme of things, especially when compared to, say, the ongoing disaster in Gaza. Yes, of course, we know the horrors of October 7th and the over 1,000 innocent Israelis and others who were slaughtered. And of course, there are still, hopefully, over... 100 hostages still alive and in captivity. And yet we are now 200 days into an invasion with over 34,000 Palestinians killed, the vast majority being innocent women, men, and children. I know I feel helpless in the face of this tragedy, and perhaps you do as well. Still, there is one thing we can do about it, and that is to continue to pray for an end to the violence, for a just peace, for a return of the hostages, and so on. So let us be persistent in prayer, trusting that God hears our pleas and that peace will overcome someday, and may that day be soon. Well, with that in mind, let us hold our parish prayer list in prayer as we listen to the Lord's Prayer performed by Steve and Joan Gregory. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Not and 
can lead us down into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver us from evil. us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Forever. Forever. And ever. And ever. Our Father. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. God bless you all, and God be with you until we meet again.